Well, hey there, you megalodons. <laughs> Welcome to today's video. How are you doing? We're doing great. Best we've ever been. Uh, we're doing, I yesterday I kept using the word miscreant <laughs> on FaceTime with my sister Skylar while scream talking about how I don't think that I'm ever going to find a person that makes me as happy as my label printers do. So, I mean, there's our update. How are you, Caspian? Good. He's good. And I am this guy. <laughs> and he is this guy. So, anyway, uh, my today... Name is Caspian. His name's Caspian. So I got this idea for a video showing just like the easiest, fastest smoky eye using minimal products because if I'm nothing if not lazy and I like to use as few things as possible as quickly as possible in all aspects of my life. So for this smoky eye, I only used two products and it took me five minutes. And by that, I mean on this eye, it took a little longer because I was like explaining some things, but on this eye, it took me less than two and a half minutes so I'm just gonna say it took five minutes. I love you, Mom. I love you, too! I used a lot of e.l.f. products because I bought a bunch of e.l.f. products and I figured it's cool to, you know, use some quali quality stuff that's not super expensive if, you know, this, these little eyeshadows are not like the, the, they're not amazing, but they're decent for the fact that it's $3. And they're, cool. and they're what? And they're cool, according to Caspian. And I love Who, your makeup. You love my makeup? It loves you too. <laughs> it loves you too? <laughs> yeah. Anyway. It doesn't even love me when it's not alive. These are the big questions. This is what we cover on this channel. Basically, I give you some parameters that you can use on your own face, and it's so easy. So I'm going to get started. I did, before I get started, want to do one little plug for my own brand and also update you guys really quick, It'll be so fast. So if you've been around here for a minute, then you already know because you've heard me talk about it so many times, but we've been doing a pre-sale for the palette mini that you can bundle with Cream Tint Pro, which are these cream products that go inside of it. Because of everything that's going on in the world, the pre-sale was going to be done by now and all of the orders were gonna be shipping out. We are having a delay of a few weeks Thankfully, it's just a few weeks. Thankfully, we've been able to adjust everything right at the beginning of March. Everybody is safe, but it's just everything takes longer doing things in quarantine. So because there is still a wait, we are still offering the 50% off discount. That's gonna end as soon as orders are going out on a regular schedule. So if you wanted to participate and get 50% off of the cream tints bundled with a palette, you can still do that as long as we are in the pre-sale status, which at this point is extended. So definitely take advantage of that if you like cream products, if you like reusable things, zero waste and if things. And you like our video. And if you like our video, <laughs> you're so sweet. So make sure you head over to our website. I'll put the link in the description box. The palette mini is $20 and the cream tints are $16 a piece. So that's $84 normally, but it's only $42 right now for the whole reusable set. So I have said my piece. I will now move on to teaching you things and I'm very excited about it. Let's get started. So the first product I'm gonna use is the e.l.f. primer putty in black and I'm gonna put that on with a liner brush. The success of this look being flattering is finding three different parameters. The first one is this angle of the corner of the nose to the corner of your eye. That's how far out we're going to take our shadow as we blend it. I think it's helpful to start out and define that right at the beginning. So I'm using my liner brush to just kind of draw in that angle so it's super clear for me. And now as I press that in, I'm going to just continue to look straight ahead in the mirror. That's gonna be really helpful for me. So right here, this is the second point and it's the highest point of your upper lash line when you're looking straight ahead. And that's how high up we're gonna take our shadow. So another really key thing with smoky eyes is making sure that you get your shadow and your liner right into the lashes and you don't have any little gaps. So that's why I like to use a liner brush for this part. So I'm going to just keep blending it in and pressing it in and I'm going to eventually blend it all the way up to that highest point and then all the way out to that first angle. And by the way, I'm using black for this look, but if you're starting out, you can always use lighter colors and practice it that way. Brown or taupe are both good options for a more subtle substitute. So now I'm switching to a smallish blending brush. I have relatively small lids, so if you have bigger lids, you can use a bigger blending brush. 
and I'm just going to use that to fill in my whole lid and take it up to that highest point I mentioned and out to that other point. The purpose of these guidelines is to ensure that the placement of your dark shadows in your smoky eye is uplifting your eye and it's not overwhelming it. So what I'm doing now is I have just wiped off the excess from my blending brush. I always keep a paper towel or a washcloth near me when I do this. And I'm using the mostly cleaned off brush to just blend out the edge without any extra product. The primer putty is filling three roles in this look. It's a primer and shadow base, obviously, but it's also our darkest shadow and the liner. And now I'm using a clean blending brush in just one of the colors from this little elf quad, the golden shade. And I'm going to take that blending brush and I'm just going to tap and blend it on top of the primer putty. And whatever your lighter shade is that you're using, whether it's gold like this or something else, I do recommend something shimmery just because they are really easy to blend. Obviously all matte smoky eyes are a thing, but if you're trying to kind of cheat like with this look with just keeping it really simple, I think shimmer is a little easier to accomplish that. So I'm concentrating that starting on the center of the lid, going in towards the inner corner, and then blending it up all along the edge. So now I'm switching back to the primer putty and the liner brush, and this is the third parameter. You want to find the lowest point of your lower lash line and blend out from that point. I put liner all the way into the inner corner, but you want to thicken from the lowest lash point out to connect up to the upper eyeshadow. And I am also a fan of tight lining for smoky eyes, especially on myself, otherwise my eyes droop a little bit. And I'm just switching to that gold shade again and using the liner brush to smudge it into the liner and just blend everything together with a little bit more of the gold from that lowest point of the lash line in towards the inner corner. And I'm really just softening everything together, making it look nice. And that's it for everything except the lashes on the smoky eye. I was pretty stoked with how it turned out, so stoked that I flung my phone away from me as I tried to push stop on the timer. So this was technically a first impressions for the primer putty. I hadn't used it before. I thought it was going to work because I tested it out on the back of my hand a little bit, but the first time around I wasn't sure how long I was going to have before it dried down and I couldn't really blend anymore. So I did the lower lash line after the gold on top, but Having already done it once, I learned that it actually does stay blendable for a while, so I went ahead and did the whole liner primer step all in one go for the second eye. And for this eye, I wanted to see how long it took when I wasn't stopping to kind of show what products I was using, and I was pleased to see that it was just under two and a half minutes. So finishing off the rest of my makeup, I'm using my salt palette that I've depotted all of my concealers into. This is the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer that I'm using to cover up my just gorgeous adult acne. I love it. It's my favorite part of my face. Now I'm using the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation in vanilla, which I used to use and stopped using because they only had six shades. But then in the midst of my corn shopping, when I was revisiting e.l.f.'s website, I saw that they have a bunch of new shades. So I picked it up again and I do like it for a medium coverage foundation. I'm going to test it out some more. This is the Oma Beauty Concealer, which I really like. And just a little note, when you do your concealer and foundation after your eyes, don't put the product right up to your eyes. Just put it right beneath and then let your kind of sponge tip or brush get right up there. And now I'm using my Salt Mini Palette. Look at that. <laughs> Available for pre-order now. And the Sculpt and Bronze Bronzers in Light and Light Medium mixed together. I, I, I don't go outside anymore. So I've been mixing light with light medium because I've been a little more pale. And I'm just using whatever is left on the brush to touch the rest of my face. And now I'm using the Radiant Cream Tint in beige to give a little luminosity to my noggin. And now I'm using rose and some questionable gestures with my finger to apply a little, little blusher. This nice rosy cheeks. Popping a little bit of rose on my lips as well. And now I'm just brushing up my brow hairs and filling in my bald spots with the Glossier Brow Pen, which I think is nice. But I wish it had a little more pigment because I'm legit bald. And that's that review. <laughs> and now a little boy brow because I want to have boy brows. And then I was like, I'm feeling bold. This is going well. I'm going to try to put on false lashes that are strips onto my own eyes, even though I'm bad at it. And then I was like, oh, hey, I'm cute. Honestly, it went surprisingly well. These were the Kiss 
faux mink lashes in little black dress and I thought it was perfect because smoky eyes are like the little black dress of your face so why not have the little black dress of your eye lashes to go with it by the way now I just was like blending out all the little edges now that I was done putting on my base makeup and now I'm putting mascara on to the lashes I like to do it after I put on strip lashes because it blends them together ooh Fenty Beauty gloss bomb and this is the moment of completion. Ow, when I realize I've been hunching over forever. Loosen up the shoulders. <laughs> Smile, pretty, ooh, yes. Look, beauty, face. Wow, these eyelashes are so uncomfortable. Not because these ones are uncomfortable, but just because I never wear strip lashes for a reason. <gasps> Cutie Caspian, so sweet, so cute making a little appearance here oh i look so yeah, pretty that's who's talking right now and that's who's talking and i'm like okay now get out of my limelight please thank you modeling influencer lashes smoky smokiness <laughs> pain <laughs> pain on my eyes and i don't like it the smoky eye is comfortable i just i need to toughen up a little bit i think all right, that was fun. I hope you liked the completed look. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Kiki G Makeup. He's mouthing to me and like this video. <laughs> yes, we want you to like the video. If you didn't like the video, then you go ahead and you just dislike it. Speak your truth. Go check out the extended pre-sale to get 50% off of Salt New York bundles. And I will see you hopefully next week. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye. Remember the last time you said um, you don't even know how to say words? Yeah, I don't know how to say words. That's a fact. Do. I do? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Did you check? Just say words right now. Oh, fair point. That's how I know that.